You're all right, everyone. Welcome back. Good afternoon. Okay, so I've just sat through Mr. Paddy Pants Down and Scotty G's video. I've got to say, it was a hard watch. It was a very, very hard watch. Um, the controlling is just on another level. Fuck me. Um, it, he had a couple of phone calls, Scotty G, at the beginning of the video. You could see Pants Down getting irate, getting furious with him. These body language, his face gave it away, I mean, obviously, if it wasn't on video, I think, he would have probably given Scotty another backhander, um, there was no, their interactions didn't come across as, like, genuine friendship, it didn't come across as, like, a conversation, it came across as an interrogation, it was just question after question after question just answered you you're a habitual liar you're a habitual liar you're a habitual liar but fuck, you know if i had a penny for every time he said fucking habitual liar i'd be probably about 20 30 quid up now not anyone saying that's tough love and um paddy's got scotty's best interests at heart are just absolutely delusional uh paddy only has his own fucking welfare at heart. You see him dressed up in all his new clobber, new coat, new jumper, new um, beanie hat. Uh, all that he's fleeced off the vulnerable, which was meant to go towards Scotty, but he's kitted himself out in new garments like he's fucking 25 again, you know. Uh, it's just shocking. And now he wants Scotty to have a lie detector. I know when I first heard about this, I wasn't 100% you know, fucking sure that it was, you know, genuine, I thought, oh, maybe they're just pulling our leg, but the delusional old twit really believes in this fucking lie detector bollocks, you know, you gotta make it up, the man is an absolute head case, surely there's somewhere better for Scotty, somewhere safer, somewhere warmer, somewhere where he ain't gonna be used and taken advantage of, he's just there to, for donations to get... They're very coy now about what they're being given. I believe they are still getting, you know, quite a few £20 notes every day in the post. But they're not letting us know now. You know why? Because I've got the list. Because I've got the list and I've embarrassed them for what they're really doing there. Preying on the vulnerable. You know, the emotionally fragile on YouTube. The people that have learning difficulties, basically, yeah? And they are fleecing them out of... Fucking hundreds and hundreds of pounds, you know, per month, you know, despite Pants Down being on top rate benefit, despite Scotty G being on top rate benefit, despite the stupid sniffing sheriff being on top rate benefit. All their men, well, no, we got, Pants Down is not on PIP, but um, Sheriff, Scotty G, it's official. They are both on PIP. They are both uh, receiving top rate benefits pants down is earning quite a bit as well through benefits and his usual handouts look it was one thing when they were sending in bird seed all right we could all kind of agree okay it's a bit of bird seed it's for the the birds on the farm you know so we we always let that slide but now it's become everything he wants clothes electricals phones tablets laptops new you know fucking Oh, just about anything he can get his mucky fingers on. Do you know what I'm saying? That was out and out bullying. Sorry, I mean, the, the controlling mannerisms of when Scotty was answering the phone, you know, he's, he was bossing him around. It's like, it's like a father that finds out his son has done a few lines. That's how, that's why he's so angry. One, you're not his father. Two, you hardly know him. Three, there is no rapport between the two of you. It just seems like you are a controlling, manipulative bully. And that's the facts. That is the facts. There's, there's no genuine, like, kind of banter, friendship, you know, love, laughs going on there. It's all very twisted. It's all very deranged. And it's all very sinister. The whole scenario of the farm and scotty being there smells worse than the fucking manure storage you know the dung storage unit that they've got yeah that was gifted to them so we we all know where they're doing a number two don't we <sighs> now he wants him to have a lie detector 
No doubt, maybe they want funding for that. Maybe he's getting the next thing of the, the lie detector um, man needs paying. He needs his, um, his, his time, you know, for Pantstown's delusional lie detector. How is that man meant to take a lie detector when he's on medication? Whether it's prescribed or just a bit of weed, he's still on narcotics. How is that? I thought you have to be clear of all that shit before you can take a lie detector. That's even if you have an open mind and believe that shit actually works. I'll tell you what I was doing. When I was watching the video, because it was 25 minutes long, ladies and gentlemen, 25 minutes, I was reading the comments. I kept refreshing the comments, knew it's first, top, knew it's first, knew, and I see many comments being deleted in real time. They were there, 30 seconds, a minute, they were gone. They were, all the negative ones, all the ones Pants down would believe a negative. The ones where people are asking questions, you know, honest questions. Something's not right about that, mate. This is all for monetary gain. You know, you don't have to be Einstein's word out. And for all the delusional nitwits in the comments saying, oh, it's tough, love. Oh, well, Paddy, you've got the patience of a saint. Oh, well done, Paddy, blah, 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 blah. You know what they say? There's one born every minute. Fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? You, where, I didn't know people like that still existed. You know, where, where, why were they born with no common sense? How couldn't people not see through this charade? It beggars belief. It really does. See him in all his new clobber. You know, new clothes every day all of a sudden. From them 50-odd bags of clothes. Now listen to me, Scotty. I will interrogate you and you will answer all my questions. You want to be honest and tell everyone you've let them down. Basically, he was forcing him to admit that he's a liar. He's, he's still um, a, a junkie, as in, in Pantstown's own words. Well, Pantstown is hardly squeaky clean himself. He has substance abuse himself. He's a fucking raging alcoholic. He's got that bong literally attached to his mouth. You know? <laughs> How... How, where is he to talk down on anyone? Like, you know, like he's doing so much better in life. He's in a run-down farm that looks like a fuck. It's a shithole. It's a wasteland. It's not even a, it's not, not what we would commonly refer to as a farm. It's just a bit of land. And there's some debate about how he got that said bit of land, you know. Thank God. Now, after, after today, I don't have to watch any more of that nonsense anymore. You know what I'm saying? I can escape the madness with what's left of my sanity. And I don't have to watch these professional scammers fleecing the vulnerable. People, you know, actually believing in that twaddle that he's, he's helping him. He's helping him. Now listen to me, the lovely Emma. I'll jump on your live later and talk about the Masons and Scotty G's road to recovery. But make sure you wear that ruby red lipstick, because it drives me crazy. Speak to you later, God bless.